Hey guys, once again, this is Cameron, and I am here to show you how to stream your computer system audio to your Raspberry Pi so that it can put it out to FM. Basically, like FM modulation. So, a few things. Make sure that on your regular PC, this only works for Windows so far that I know of because it's an it's a Windows executable so there's going to be no other way you're going to do it on like Mac or Linux uh, with the special way that I'm doing it I know that there is a way to do it for Linux uh, it's a little bit more complicated but we don't have to worry about that right now so first of all oh you need to have the Pi FM running not running but like you need to have it installed and you need to know how to use it properly before watching this tutorial I will have my tutorial on how to get it Pi FM on the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, down in the description so that you can watch that I would highly recommend it because this is a tutorial for the Raspberry Pi 2 so let's get started the first thing we need to do is we need to get this program called line encode. You're going to get this by typing in line encode just in Google and you're going to go to this page https romanrm.net slash line encode. I'm going to click on that and you have all this. To download it you're going to click on list all available files. Now, I'm not sure for you, but for at this time, I the latest version is version 2.10.zip. I would get that. If you have a later version, I would recommend getting that. Click on that. It will download. Wait for it to download. It's probably doing the virus scan. Open up your downloads directory. And what you're going to do is you're going to extract it to, oh well, extract all, and you're going to extract it because it's a zip format. Wait for that, ah, it kind of seems to have frozen. Ooh, that's not, oh, there we go. Okay. That was weird. Alright, you can just delete this zip file. And now we've got all these files in here. I would recommend closing out of that and moving it to your desktop. And we will rename it to, let's just call it, uh, Pi Stream. Whatever you want to call it. I would, because it's streaming the system audio from your computer to your Raspberry Pi. Second of all, what we need to do is you need to create your batch file that's in here. So you're going to create a new text docu document and you're going to call it um, a start dot bat. So if you do not have this .txt behind here, uh, so that you can change it to .bat, just go into view and click on file name extensions and it will allow those file name extensions to show up behind the files. I always have that on just because it's more helpful because you can just edit whatever file you want and the name and it makes it really easy so now you can edit this and I have never seen anyone create this code I pretty much made it myself oh wait nope I got one more thing almost forgot we need to go to putty to the website I usually download from here. Uh, 
www. Yeah, you can see that. I don't want to read that. Okay, but anyway, I usually download from this page. I do not know what party.org is like. Yeah, it takes you to the same place. So, and you need to download Plink. Plink.exe. Downloads it. Gonna need to open up your downloads, and you're just gonna drag and drop that plink.exe in there. So, like I said before, I pretty much made up the code, but I had some help from other people in forums and stuff like that. You know, there was ways to uh, stream your audio over to it or whatever. But I made it specifically to run for the Pi FM. So, what you need to do is you need to. I will have this code down in the description, but you need to copy this code and you need to paste it inside of here. Now, as you can see, linko.exe calls linko.exe and it runs it so this bitrate right here I am not I know that that's not entirely correct but I've been doing some guess and check and that's the smoothest and the it doesn't buffer with that if you guys know what the exact bitrate for that is the closest one to this Please let me know and I will correct it because it is a mess. Uh, it, I've been trying to find it, but I can't. So if you guys know what that should be, just let me know and we will be continue on with this. So Plink.exe, make sure you have your Raspberry Pi's IP address. I have it right here. Uh, to find this, you can use Angry IP Scanner, or you can go into your router and find it. Uh, that's pretty much all I know of. You can you can do it many many ways, but uh, just find your ra Raspberry Pi's IP address, and you are going to put it into here. We're going to do 192.168.0. Dot 105. The Raspberry Pi's username default is Pi, and the Raspberry Pi's password default is Raspberry. And we are going to this right here is the command sudo dot slash a dot out, just like the old one that I have set up. And this dash basically runs this code and or it takes the output from this code, puts it in, and it puts it onto a channel. Put whatever channel you want. The reason why I have radio channel recommend, there is just the recommendation for me because I have all my stereo set to it, so in that way I can just automatically go to it. And that's it with the code. Now, you have everything set up there. So, the next thing you're going to have to do, let me think. Oh, yeah, you have to get your audio all set up. If you want it to do your system audio, it will. It will run from your default device. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click down here and you're going to click on recording devices and it's going to open this guy up. My stereo mix is already there. This is why you need your correct audio and drivers installed. If you do not have your correct audio drivers installed and you right click and you check this box and this box, stereo mix will not show up. It has to show up. Okay? And if that doesn't work, I know that there is a program out there called Virtual Audio Cable or something weird like that. Uh, you could try that. 
but I'm not going to go into the specifics with that because this is the easiest way I've know I have knowing it and it's a good thing they have your audio and drivers installed anyway so when you first get onto here this won't be here and you'll just see your microphones you're going to right click and you're going to click on show disabled devices and show disconnected devices and stereo mix will automatically show up you're going to set that as default and what stereo does stereo mix does is it will pretty much uh set up the uh it, it takes it's your system audio it's that simple it's just your system audio so basically with this what i'm telling you is you can run videos and you can run anything you want and it will automatically find them and it will automatically stream them to the Pi. So say you have uh, your music up, you play it. <laughs> See how it showed how that spiked up? That's because it's taking your system audio. Even with videos on YouTube or whatever, it will take your system audio and it will run it. So, now, you're going to click on OK, and you have your Raspberry Pi's IP address and stuff set up. What we're going to do is we're going to go into PuTTY, just to check to see if your Pi is connectable, type in your IP address and click on Open. And as you can see, I am connecting to my Raspberry Pi just fine. OK. Now you're going to Shift, hold down the Shift key and right click and click on open command window here. Another way you can do this is by opening up your CMD, Windows key R, CMD, opening it up and typing in a CD, or yeah, CD downloads and it will automatically, oh wait, no, 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 CD dot dot, CD desk top slash pi stream and it will automatically take you there and now <clears throat> with this you are going to type in plink uh pi at so this is your Raspberry Pi's username. This is Pi, Raspberry Pi's username, at your Raspberry Pi's IP address. It will do this. You type in the password of that. So, Sometimes what this will do is it will ask you to uh, get a key in. I already put in that key, but it asks you to register that key. Just press yes or Y, and it will automatically register the key. Now all I have to do is type in log out and exit the command prompt. Now, time for us to get to the testing. So, we have... Let me plug my phone into the uh, headphones here. Let me get up my FM radio. 96.3, if that's the right one. Yep. Alright. And now... As you can hear, let me see if I can change something in this OBS. Uh, I don't know how to turn off the system audio. Okay, there we go. All right. So I turned off the system audio so it wouldn't be annoying to you. And now, 
Make sure your volume is all the way up on your computer. I'm going to press play on the uh, on my phone. It's just fuzz. Now I press start dot back. As you can hear, it went silent. Now when I play a song. It's a little late, but it works just fine, and it's really clear. I mean, it works great. So there it is. That is how you create your own uh, stream to your Raspberry Pi that outputs it to FM. That is pretty much the easiest way I know how to do it. And like I said, I don't think I've seen anyone else do that before. I've been trying to do it for a long time and I finally figured out. So hopefully this helped you guys out and have a good day.